What do make us cry? Today we're gonna talk about it. I will tell you a few suggestions and you can follow them and use in your own life, in your own stories and your maybe music and also maybe cinema. It will be talked. Yes, I hope that I used the correct form of the word. Let's dive into it. Yes, first of all, it is our reflecting. You know, when we have story, for example, story about uh, someone who was born, yes? And uh, we know that almost every person on our earth have, has a mother, yes? And we can reflect to this. That's why stories about mother, it is so like a cryful sometimes and so like we can reflect too. But if we will talk about something like a rocket ship and astronauts, then it will be maybe not so fully reflecting. If we will talk about some of the engineering stuff in, on this, uh, on this uh, spaceship, it will be not super reflecting. But if we will talk about spaceship and about family that maybe we will on Earth, then it will be like an interstellar movie, yes, and uh, it will be like reflecting to the some of the values that uh, we have in our life. It is first thing that we can use. Next thing, it is our senses. We can use uh, different five senses in our life. First, it is our visual, next it is our ears, and uh, our taste, our touch, and our smell. We can use them, and if we will, like, speak with showing to people, like, uh, we will show something. I mean that I will tell a story, not like a, about uh, numbers, about, like, uh, some of the graphs on statistics and something like that, but if I will talk with uh, pictures, with uh, like a it is so soft, it was maybe sharp, or maybe it was so like a dusty, or uh, how to say it, uh, maybe ringly and uh, <laughs> twirly, and so like a maybe flowy and airy, then we can imagine it better, and it means that our story will be better and so maybe touchful to another people. Next thing that uh, we will use, I will talk about music. Music, uh, we have different types of music that can make us cry. For example, if you watch uh, Titanic and you can hear this high notes sometimes, sometimes low notes, and I noticed one interesting thing. Maybe you remember Rose and uh, this person, who uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, you know him, and uh, they were doing love together, and in one moment when Rose we were on a, sh on a boat and he, she looked at uh, at this person like Leonardo and uh, after that started to grow our music growing was with a high 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 notes I mean that it was like a to to this side to high to high notes and after that became like a crying and tears of Leonardo and it was also lighting to our eyes. I, it was like a firework. You maybe remember that. If you don't remember it, you can Google emotional scenes of Titanic and you can, you can uh, like uh, watch them and you can analyze them and uh, you, you will understand why it is so cryful moment. Yes? And... Uh, I hope that you understand that it was firstly music, next it was crying, reflecting to emotion, and next it was uh, lighting. Lighting made us cry because it is kind of hard when we focus on a, on a shot. Yes, we focus, we focus, we focus, and after that lighting, and we feel like, oh Jesus, I feel like w I want to, I want to do like a blinking and if I will blink I will drop some tears. It was like a mixture of it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and right now you understand more about how to make people cry. If you were interested in this uh, I can tell you more about this art and I can took I, and I can take specific examples like I did with 
Titanic and I can analyze them or maybe watch them like a reaction with analysis. If you are interested in, please let me know in the comment section below and uh, have a great day. Thank you for everybody who, who was commenting previous video. I so love you and Catherine, hello. Catherine, you are from, uh, from England and I'm so glad to speak to you and to another followers too. See you next time. Bye bye. You're a cool guy or a cool girl. Bye.